Hey everyone, it's your Games One Five here, and we're back for part three of the Every Country series and part three of Canada. Gosh, these parts are gonna get very repetitive since I'm only going a year at a time. I might try to bring it up to a year and a half, or maybe even two years. Yeah, let's go ahead and resume. As oh god, we have a lot of stuff. But something we don't have a lot of is manpower. And I'm still in civ economy, but oh, yes, I can raise that. Okay, I, I all right. So let's just all right. That's what I saw, and I was like, "What the hell is Bulgaria doing?" It's a civil war. There we go. So, and Wilhelm goes back to Germany. Alright, so, so basically, do I get from the Civil War route now? I would definitely get more territory. But, it's a whole lot easier to flip over from just this stage. Alright, 49%, so I need my political power early mobilization so I mean that that's just no debuff at all and this it's still some debuffs but nowhere near as bad I'll be able to construct stuff a bit more as so I'm still trying to get railways is there's still no supply do I like not have trains like I have I have trains yeah Maybe I just need some infrastructure. You know, building an airfield. And I'm pretty sure I left the Allies. Yes, I did. So I have left the Allies. And that was actually pretty quick. And oh, regular Poland one. And there you go, naval effort. I got dockyards now. Or now, well, this wonderful thing called destroyers. I originally wanted those submarines, but holy gosh, I'm out of steel. Oh, this is good, my neighbor. Last or go. I got steel now. I can produce some good stuff. I probably need to put civ factories back in the way after that infrastructure. I need a national focus. I basically mastered the default focus trait <laughs> because, well, I play nations. I mean, I'm not pumped to do the US. It is a very boring thing to do. I just want to get out of some stuff. I'm not going to spoil too much for people that don't know what this game is. But. What the heck? Yeah, once you get out of stuff of that, yeah, you still have a restriction that no one else in the world has the freaking Senate. Let's just. Uh, I know I have low manpower. Got 50. Oh, new division. Oh, a few new divisions. Well, um, I don't really have supplies, so, and there we go. 24. One division. Right click. Okay. There you go. So we're just going out there. Okay. So now I'm down to 1,000 men. Just 1,000 men. But I can flip. Yeah, it's as soon as I get the political power. Why is the game running so slow? It's running like it usually is in f 4 speed, I'm pretty sure. And it's supposed to be 5 speed. Oh, 
that happened. Now it's running at three speed. Oh no. I'm gonna lose we'll sit here. A vicious. Yeah. I'll be able to go to extensive and go down militarism and military youth to get both of those. Both of these actually give me grant extra 7% recruitable population. Still don't really know how on earth I need to, I can get supply because G am I not really go with supply system. They just looked at all the U.S. major cities and realized just how hard it would be to conquer them. Mm -hmm. Can't believe I just not looked on radar. That's kind of embarrassing. Very extensive. Or a battle player. No, I, I still don't have a mouse, I know, but I decided that I want to be recording two videos when I when I break, like spring break, fall break, summer break, all that. I'll be recording two videos. Then I'll take one day off, then record two yeah. Repeat, repeat, unless I go on like vacation and I'll like struggle to even get one video out. Extra factory going to rifles. How much is this attrition? Oh, yep, yeah, Union Soviet Republic's one. 14% attrition. Um, better destroyers? I'm not sure. The Ottawa class. And so it's war. The best. Oh, God. If I sound, like, tired in this video, it's because it's early in the freaking morning. Don't give me hell about it, okay? Don't, no, Spanish Civil War. But because of that, I got to redo my front line because it only has two provinces right now. Okay, well, yeah, now that I'm fascist, the US will probably have to my border. That is true. Oh my gosh. Let's just look at how weak I am compared to the U.S. I have 13 divisions, 32 factories, no manpower, 73 planes, 2 ships, and 135 convoys. They have more than me in literally everything. Even on Disarmed Nation, and then Undisturbed Isolation, that... <laughs> That's a, that's a really bad debuff. No, no, I have like no man. <gasps> God, yeah, now I have like no manpower. After these divisions, I'm going to stop deploying. 
they have a little bit of manpower to deploy, like, other stuff. Oh my god, they have a lot of troops on our border. It's kind of scary. I'm really in no place to be at war. 32 factories. Not very much resources. Bad consumer goods. And then, like... I mean, I do have a quite a good amount of fuel capacity. Meaning that I might not really need to put soils up. But I really need the refinery so I can make sure I have that fuel. Yeah, I just need a little bit more infantry equipment and fuel. Air superiority. Okay, got home. I don't want air safety. Oh, dang it. The one time. The one time I don't want freaking. The one time I want fleet logistics. See, do I have a fleet logistics here? Nope. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna partial mobilization once I get the political power. Collected these songs. Nationalism. Okay. It's July. It's not taking very long. I'm glad I kind of want to go back to bed. <laughs> okay, about seven. I was better around, I think, 11, 10, maybe? And yeah, I'm just. I, school starts in about a week, and I'm not ready for that. It's been quite a while on my my test run. This went very quicker. This went a lot quicker. I don't know how. Actually, probably because I, I, I did actually leave the Allies at the very beginning. But when Denmark capitulates in WW2, Iceland usually pops up and then UK declares and Iceland joins the Axis. So I. So they do, they joined the Axis when that happened. I declared war on Iceland, took them over. And, yeah. yeah, I got a little bit of war score for that. Kind of funny. Also, last night, I did Ireland test. And I joined the Axis because the goal is fascist. And the goal is to take back that. I ended up supposed to take the Faroe Islands. And Iceland. No, Iceland joined the Axis. Never mind. I'm an idiot. And that's the stage of Q that ended up... Pushing really hard right outside of London. Then we got pushed back hard, and yeah. Although I did gain full control of Northern Ireland, Ireland after British just basically had the McDonald, the McDonald proposal, where it gives me control of Ireland, Northern Ireland by joining the Allies and leave the X to the Allies. Well, I always select an excellent idea so I get Northern Ireland, but I never join the Allies. Allies, I stay in the Axis. But it was actually kind of funny how I got so powerful. But back to Canada. What the heck was that? Oh. Just saying, Japan's gonna 
join in that. They're in a civil war. They're still in a civil war? And it looks like a stalemate at the minute. It, It's just a stalemate. I'm pretty sure it's a state of Japan, yeah, and then Hirohito's Japan. Although... I wonder if they both go fast, so here he told me that. Oh god. Yeah, it's literally still me. It is legit stalemate. I mean, I could go out, I could go and help your Hito. Send the attaché, no. Send volunteers. I don't send to your mind. Alright, well, here you go, have fun. Nope, oh, radio detection. Well, the radar stations. <sighs> oh, I can see these are. Oh, September already. I can go back to bed pretty soon. Thank gosh. I didn't even give you guys a goal. So, your goal is just to straight up take all the American victory points. Dang it. Don't want y'all guys. Alright. Just take all their victory points. Yeah. yeah you take all those major cities. Now you get on militarism. Even more manpower. Oh, I've supposed 5,000 rifles. And oh, oh, yeah, I can actually deploy a few more units. Honestly, I need to change these out. I don't have any motorized research. And I hope I have enough. Oh yeah, I should have enough. Just... Yeah. It's 20 comment with now I'm probably lacking. Yeah, I'm lacking load tanks. Load tanks I want to put, actually. Another factory. Oh, thanks. Quantify government. I knew that was going to happen. As soon as WW2 fires on the... As soon as... The war fires, I'm gonna justify on this tank and this. I'll just find this, they'll join this, and I'll be at war both. Spot. Okay. I have an extra hundred fighters I can deploy. Hundred fifty-four fighters now. Oh yeah, okay. Destroyers. And they're motorized. Lacking steel again. That was good to the UK. 
I go. It's kind of like dumb idea because I want to be at war with the UK pretty soon. I, I just kind of hope these guys don't join the Allies. Because if that happens, I'm screwed. I'm like still lacking to uh, it takes just about 200 of them. Italy going for you go. Um, there it goes. Although I forgot. Oh gosh, that. Oh, and that too. Wait, are they like? No, like, but yeah, they went down German Empire. And they went down Austria Hungary, so Italy can't even make the path to Rome. And they don't even have Albania. Oh, Italy, you stupid. Or if Italy can wrap up Corsica, send more troops to Africa because you're going to get gang banged. And honestly, I'll just forget about that. Put those troops here and just pound. If you can beat Hugo pretty quickly. Romania's in the Allies, and you go. So you, you can beat you go in Romania quickly. Then you can send those troops over to France or Africa. But stuff is eating up. And I want to justify Denmark, which that in turn. That's kind of a dumb idea. <laughs> what dumb idea are you guys? Um, forget that, actually. Um, you'll be doing a naval invasion of Greenland. Where is our one port? That's one big province. <laughs> yeah, naval invading with tanks. It's not a good idea. And I don't even have manned the guns, which hopefully I'll have by the time I play Mexico, because that gives Mexico a custom focus tree. Although, I played Mexico twice without. Oh, and just with the base focus tree, I, go pr I can get pretty dang powerful. So, yeah, y'all are just going to... And I need my navy. So navy. Four destroyers. I'm gonna get this guy. And I uh, kinda do need your dock somewhere else. And I just like dock you guys here. And like, and you like move there. <laughs> well, me, I'm going to gain the spirit. Order. This is one big place. So I'll be fine. Oh, no, says so yeah. <laughs> I doubt I'll be at war, however, by the end of this episode. The end of my war. I'll be at war next episode, though, so tune in. The video isn't over yet, but... <laughs> oh, God, I'm an idiot. Yeah, but tune in to where... We'll be at war and some interesting things happen and I'll just show you guys how bad how bad I really am at this game. But my secret weapon to win in any war paradroppers. Okay, I'll still need time to repair. As soon as I have my motorized done, I'm switching the cavalry and my tank divisions to motorized. And as soon as I motorized down, I go after heavy tanks. Maybe turn those into heavy tank divisions. I don't know. 
Maybe I'll go for medium tanks. If I get enough army experience from a war, I could go after 40 with medium tanks since the best division of Prince of Iron currently. I'm gonna go to Marines too. Which really. I'm doing it for mostly the river amphibious attack. I don't really encounter many marshlands. And Marines also kind of help out naval invasions too, so if I can pump out any by naval invasion time. But Denmark will join the Allies. I'll take this. And then I'll just have these ships going. And now, when I'm island hopping, and then I'll land in Scottish Highlands. Yeah, Scottish Highlands push down to Italy. You gained a province here and you lost one, so you're still mate that in here. You're still mate here. And yeah, you lost that province. Oh, probably because most of your divisions are here. I'm impressed. Except you're like going to lose your capital, so. A few of you guys, and I go you there. How many too many divisions in Alaska? Because I, well, I need a good amount so I can wrap that up like quick. Like just gotta go quick. Just gotta go quick with Alaska. Then I can send the troops down here, and then I can just take just take everything. So, I'm going to take everything to where this border between Virginia and North Carolina and then like, Kentucky and Tennessee is. It's because that's straight and it's pretty straight besides this little thing by Missouri. And then I'll just go a little north and continue. And it does seem to dip down pretty. Yeah, it does seem to dip down quite southern, but. In the states that I'm taking, it can get pretty cold. In Tennessee, it can get pretty cold. Oh, shoot, it's January. <laughs> oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. Um, that's a little late, though. But, yeah, and then I'll just go north here. Yeah, I'll leave Nevada and Cali to my puppet, where I'll just puppet the U.S. Or I could just leave them be. <laughs> Probably want to puppet them. If I can even defeat them, that is. Alright, well. Alright. It's almost time. That's going to be the name of the video. It's almost time for war, everybody. This will be Gary Geese 5 signing off. Peace.